As a designer and TV host for the last 18 years, I've helped people achieve the home of their dreams. With so many of us rethinking how we live right now, I wanted to help bring real life solutions to people who are ready to transform their homes with simple, easy to achieve solutions. This is In The Room with John Giddings. So today we're designing for Maria in Portugal. She's trying to squeeze a lot out of one room. She wants it to be her walk-in closet, her library, her gym, and her art studio. She's living her best life out of this one room, and I gotta love her for it. Hi, so my name is Mariana. I'm from Portugal. I live in Lisbon, and I have this little room where I feel the need to put my walk-in closet, my library, my gym, and my art studio. My idea would be to try and make it as neat and tidy as possible. I just need your guys' help to make that look like a walk-in closet when in reality it's four different spaces in 12 square meters. So if you can help me with that, you guys would be my new heroes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so let's take a look at the floor plan. Look at this perfectly efficient plan. The entrance to the room sets up the main circulation zone. That's always how you want it anyway. It's much more difficult to walk into a room and then have to turn. Of course, we do in the rooms we have to, but this is the way to lay out a room. I'm not gonna touch that. That's perfect, let's keep it. On the other side of the room, we've got sort of a cobbled together storage wall. And I totally understand how this came together because Maria needed to up the function, but not spend that much money. So she found multiple pieces of furniture that stack on top of one another. And she created a smaller desk zone within the storage area. I would try to consolidate all desk processes to the one desk you've got there. The other thing I want to mention is two small mirrors are great, but you know what, Maria? One large one is even better. And finally, for Maria's desk, I gotta say, I love a big art desk like this. I miss them from my studio days. We gotta keep it, obviously, not just because it's her own beautiful desk, but because it works well for this space. We need some volume and some square footage so that we can put multiple things going on onto one desk. So Maria, here's what I propose. First of all, let's sketch out different places where your table and chair can go. For me, one of the most obvious places is right by this window. You've got natural light, what a beautiful space to work. You could turn towards the window if you've got a great view, but that of course means that the space behind the chair is now given up to circulation. Whereas if we do it this way, with the chair poking back into the space where the mirror is gonna go. Now the chair is backing up into the circulation of the main room anyway. So that's two functions on top of one. This was one of my earlier layouts for this space. This to me says we are putting primary importance to storage. We've got not only this full wall of storage that you've already built for yourself beautifully, but a similarly scaled L-shaped walk-through closet. This is because this entire room needs to feel like a walk-in closet with one aesthetic. And if you can find the same storage solution in an L shape and assemble it for yourself, I think that's gonna give you the most bang for your buck. The dotted lines represent clothes hanging rods, but not both closets have to be laid out in the same way. I'm thinking this longer one against the first wall when you walk in could be the more traditional clothing storage with maybe two rods inside, a double rod of clothes hanging storage. But then this center closet could ostensibly be all sorts of different kinds of function for a room like this. You could do the system where you open the doors and there's an additional work desk in there. Or you could do it where you open the doors and it's a series of shelves from the floor to ceiling. You could put deep boxes, you can put storage solutions, luggage, the kind of storage that you need, I think, needs to determine what goes inside these closets, but clearly one of them needs to be for more clothing. Finally, what placing the desk here allows us to do is keep the center of this room open for the gym. It's clearly working perfectly for you already. Let's get a large mirror for this room. It would work perfectly, especially because it's on the same wall as the window. You've got your light source that's gonna hit the person looking at the mirror. It's great lighting. What I like about nooking this desk into a corner like this is yes, it's a little intimate, but remember that the window is there. So there's an immediate release from that corner. And hopefully the light quality alone is enough to convince you that this is this place for the desk. Even though it's an extremely important space, your office and art studio, it's nonetheless constrained to a place where no matter how messy it is, it's a little bit hidden. And what's hiding it? My favorite detail in this design, this thing right here. For me, this 
needs to be a very important piece of furniture and I think you need to have it custom built. This is the place to spend money. So what is this curious piece of furniture that's gonna separate the closet space from the art studio? It's your library. The floor to ceiling library is my favorite detail. This is that piece of furniture that's going to tie the entire vibe of the room together. On the desk side, it's going to be your library, full storage, floor to ceiling, and you've got very tall ceilings. And on the other side, we're gonna use pegboard. This is an American product. I'm sure you have it in Europe, but it's basically a surface with many holes in it, and you can put different kinds of tool holders on top. I looked at how many books you've got currently in the space. You have a lot of books, and I'm thinking we just go all the way to the floor with them. One on the floor, and then every 14 inches except for one gap. I think this is going to give you all the storage you need and give you a little extra space right next to the desk right here. This space in the library right next to the desk becomes super important because we're pushing the desk into a corner and we don't want Maria to feel enclosed or trapped in a corner. Yes, there's a window, but why not make the other side of the desk feel a little more generous as well? One of the things that Maria asked for is that this room feels like a walk-in closet and not an entire room dedicated to also her gym and her library and her art studio. This is a single function looking room. The detail that allows us to do this is putting a curtain at the same length as the floor to ceiling library. This is a very tall ceilinged room because Maria is already using this closet system so efficiently, including putting storage boxes all along the top. She's already using the entire floor to ceiling space along that side of the room. So we're gonna do the same thing in this corner and then the one piece of custom built furniture that really has to embrace the full ceiling height is the library. By going all the way up to the ceiling, we not only give her ample space for books, but it anchors the corner that's going to hold that art studio and gives us a support structure onto which we can hang our curtain. I'm not changing much. I'm moving your desk to the corner and building out more of the same storage that you've already had. This is because you did most of the work already, Maria. But when faced with the challenge of improving upon your beautiful work, I think the one improvement I would make is to embrace that window much more than you have. And that's what I've got for you, Maria. I hope this was helpful. You must admit that you'd already solved much of these problems yourself, but I'm glad you wrote in. And if I didn't answer any of your questions, make sure to put a comment in the section below. If you've got a home makeover project you need help with or a room you'd like to reimagine, drop us a DM at shelter on Instagram and tell us your story. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube so you don't miss a new episode.